Welcome to Wawa Mela Channel. The Second Voyage of Sinbad the Sailor Once there lived a poor porter Sinbad who came across a lovely mansion and envied its master. Sinbad the sailor who was the master of the mansion inquired about his envy and offered him wine and food to eat. Then Sinbad the sailor narrated his story, Seven Voyages, of how he became rich, to the porter and others at his mansion. Sinbad's first voyage has been very profitable. He became a wealthy man. He did not lack luxury or entertainment. But he missed the taste of the salt air and the thrill of travel and adventure. Soon he found a newly made ship with the best sail and equipment. He booked his place on the ship and the sail was set. After many stops, the ship came to a peaceful island, with no sign of human inhabitants. Sinbad roamed around, had lunch and slept pleasantly. When he woke up, he found that his fellow travelers had already left. Sinbad decided to explore the island. Suddenly the sky turned dark. He thought it was a large storm cloud but then realized that the cloud was a giant bird. He ran towards the trees and hide behind them. Then Sinbad recalled travelers' tales of a bird, monstrous in size called a rock. He was so desperate to escape the deserted island that he was willing to try even the maddest of ideas. He crawled out of his hiding place and crept towards the brooding bird. Sinbad climbed up onto its giant claw and tied himself to its leg using the cloth from his turban. The bird started to fly up in the sky and landed in a deep ravine. Sinbad untied himself from the bird's foot and dived behind a rock. He looked around and found that it was the home of enormous serpents, each the size of a palm tree. He saw that the entire place was filled with huge diamonds. Just one of those stones could make a man wealthy. Sinbad spent that night in a cave in fear. The morning he wandered a little way down the valley. While walking down the valley he found a huge piece of meat dropped from the sky and landed on the rocks. Suddenly he recalled a traveler's tale of a dangerous mountain range, where a few merchants would drop pieces of meat into a valley hoping that diamonds would stick to them. They would wait for an eagle or any other bird to swoop down, pick the meat, and carry it to its nest. Then merchants would climb to the nest, scare away the bird and recover diamonds. Sinbad filled his pocket with diamonds, then taking off his turban he attached the meat to his chest. The giant bird came and carried the meat off to its nest with Sinbad. When the bird settled down in the nest, there was loud shouting and stones landed in the nest, which made the bird fly off. Men approached and were surprised to see Sinbad. Sinbad shared the diamond with a man who helped. All of them safely reached the ship and sailed for Baghdad and they sold the diamonds for a great fortune. Now Sinbad became twice as wealthy as before. The porter was in awe of all that he had heard and was invited to hear another tale the following evening.